My boy, before I start the video, I want to let you know that eight people, eight people out there have tremendous drip. Eight people has swag over 10,000, my boy. Eight people have purchased the Whitey Dan Game King merch. Invoca Baby. Dark Magic Attack. Shiranui Dog. Check the link in the description to never miss. What's going on, my boys? YT Dan back at it again to talk to you about the KC Cup. The KC Cup is upon us yet again, and the time has finally come to choose a side. Will you be a duelist fighting for glory and rank and status, or will you become an agent of chaos with this deck? You too can become an agent of chaos. Wreak havoc in the KC Cup and enrich yourself. Whitey Dan Duel Links is sponsored by These Dank Duelists. Support the channel directly by becoming a member. I hope that you really enjoy this type of video because I have not been making these videos in a really long time and honestly, the YouTube algorithm <laughs> basically uh, is getting used to me uploading videos again as I've been doing tons of live streams so it would really help me out if you hit the like button and subscribe to this video especially leave me a comment let me know what you think about the deck how you'd improve the deck or anything else you'd like to put down in the comment section now this deck is amazing um, we run a lot of interesting two card combos and strategies that pretty much uh, puts us in a very interesting positions for victory. Uh, basically, it's a deck out slash stall deck. We're using cards like uh, Valkyrie, Shisit, and uh, Hero Shadow Scout, <laughs> easier to pronounce, uh, to pretty much mill our opponent out. But we're also using cards like Obnoxious Celtic Guardian with Gravity Eggs Grawl as a stall tactic to keep our opponent from being able to not only destroy our monsters, but not be able to change their battle position. So we're also running cards like Paleozoic Kanadia and uh, Floodgate Trap Hole to assist in this, but with the new release of Book of Moon and also um, the old card Bronco Radius, we are definitely poised for victory. Pretty much what happens is, you know, your opponent summons a monster, whatever goes first, you can easily summon Bronco uh, Radius. Uh, not Bronco Radius. I've been calling this card Bronco Radius all this time. <laughs> His name is not Bronco Radius. I don't even remember where I got that from, but Bronco, this is not Bronco Radius. This is, uh, I'm calling this man Bronco Radius from here on out. I'm, I'm dead. All right. So you can easily summon Bronco Radius, change your opponent to defense mode, equip with the Gravity Axe Grawl, and your opponent will not be able to change back to attack position. It's really interesting because when you do that to a face-up monster, they of course can still do things like Exceeds plays, but when you put the monster face down and use something like Gravity Axe Grawl, the monster becomes useless outside of a Tribute Summon. So if your opponent does not have Tribute Summons or um, has a very few tribute summons is easy easier to keep your opponent locked down but if they have a lot of tribute summons like blue eyes or thunder dragons for example it's really hard to maintain control now other decks like uh, thunder dragons with uh, levy in there any deck with levy in there is gonna be a problem for this deck the only thing that you can use to stop levy levy in there is Karibos and sometimes floodgate but honestly floodgate they're gonna just destroy itself and destroy whatever else it can or if you have karibo karibo is only gonna be able to uh pretty much just stop them from killing you uh so basically <laughs> levionaire is pretty much the killer of this deck but everybody doesn't play levionaire everyone can't use levionaire so therefore this deck is viable in that sense now, running it under Ultimate Dragon skill gives you a few additional turns for free. Your opponent thinks that you're running White Stone of Legend in a Blue Eyes deck, and because they think that of you, 
um, you can basically get away with murder, which is uh, pretty much just sitting on your laurels for a few turns and just backing up your field by setting floodgates, setting canadias, using gravity acts, and, and doing all kinds of silly stuff. Basically, the goal is to never reveal what this deck is until you absolutely have to. I don't care if you have to wait till turn 10 before you actually play a card. You wait until your opponent does something and then let them be shocked when it's not what they think it is. Or you lock your opponent down when they get into a vulnerable position. Because sometimes if you're playing Ultimate Dragons, your opponent might just set three monsters over three turns. Then that's when you just summon and equip Gravity Axe. And then, <laughs> and then they, they can't do anything. Now, can you get Karma Cut? Sure. Can you get Floodgated? Sure. Can all the bad stuff and negative stuff happen to you? Yes. But you can still come out the victor because you have two cards here that will mill your opponent for three cards. <laughs> And then you have, well, basically force them to draw three cards. And then you have another card that will mill your opponent for two cards. Basically, if you use either one of these effects one time, it should put you ahead of the game. And the only thing you have to do is survive. And that's easy to do in this deck. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I hope you guys enjoy kind of the way I did it. I was trying to make it a little bit different because this is a different style of deck. And it just takes, it would have just took a really long time. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, keep it dank. My boys, the time has finally come. YT Dance merch store is now open. We've got the Invoca Baby. We've got the Dark Magic Attack. And the Shiranui Dog! Use the link in the description below to get this hot merch, my boy. It's only gonna be available for February, and when it's gone, it's gone. So, click the link below to never miss. Yes, my boys, this is going to be absolutely brutal. The Seto Kaiba Disguise Technique is the perfect technique for a mill deck. Because right now, everybody's running White Stone of Ancients. And as I probably mentioned in the deck breakdown, that is an effective strategy to steal a few free turns off your opponent. So right now, we're going off the assumption I'm playing Blue Eyes. I just used Ultimate Dragon, so the duel started. My opponent started off with the standard T-shaped defense, one in the back row, one in the defense position, which is absolutely fine. And against a blue eyes player, what do you expect on this first turn? Either they're gonna go absolutely nuts and summon a bunch of blue eyes, or maybe their hand wasn't so great and they just set a stone and pass. And that's the field that we're looking to mimic, but I'm gonna go all the way in on this first play and pretty much just say, Karma Cut is waiting for you. So let's watch how i play this so and now we're on turn three turn four we're just continuing to set because he's thinking there's definitely karma cut back there i want to bide my time look at all these turns of advantage that we're getting just because right now we're sitting on being a blue eyes but turns out that this man is actually playing blue eyes what a trick nani so he comes out with the dragon spirit of white targeting my back row falling for the classic blunder Targeting the Floodgate, getting Floodgated, Dragon Spirit of White returns. Paleozoic Kanadia, it's a sad time, is getting banished, but we're putting the beast back face down as we have Gravity Axe Growl in our hand, which will prevent his monsters from getting back up. So, flip over here on Shadow Scout, we're gonna mill the deck. We profited like seven turns, or maybe even better, considering how the turns are starting to uh, fall out in the end of this duel. Um, off of just this is a blue eyes deck <laughs> so that gave us a lot of advantage and a lot of resources unfortunately he was able to counter our gravity axe but we still have more floodgates what's amazing about this deck is that you can use the abundance of floodgates 
Book of Moon, and even the Ghost Trick monster um, that can put uh, monsters face down permanently in combination to lock up your opponent's monster board. And honestly, locking up your monster board is one of the most effective things you can do because not only does it lock out your opponent from using different effects, but it also slows down the gameplay enough for you to gain enough of a lead in your 20 something or 20 card deck that you're playing as a mill deck outside of, you know, like a 30 card mill deck or, you know, something like that, uh, that would just basically naturally mill your opponent out. So two hero shadow scouts gonna kill you for game. Basically hero shadow scout says draw three cards. If you can't draw three cards or if you can't draw a card, you automatically lose, uh, which is, you know, basic Yu-Gi-Oh rule. Here's another one going up against my Valentine. And I believe that this was black wings for sure. Yeah, I think that this is definitely black wings. And we're again going off with ultimate dragons, Harpy's hunting ground because it's black wings. Now started out pretty good. Um, he left his field wide open. If it was a blue eyes deck, maybe that would have been OTK. But he did not have, uh, a, I guess, a very strong go first. So I guess he just decided to risk it and just keep himself open. But he's going to go go in starting with his Blackwing plays. And immediately, I'm going to use Floodgate. Floodgate is such an effective trap card, um, especially when you're using it against these combo decks. Um, it really, like, shuts the entire deck down. And putting a brick on your opponent's board, if they don't have a tribute monster to get that off by using something like Floodgate or Gravity Axe and, you know, a combination, it's devastating to the opponent, as you will see as this duel continues. So Hero Shadow Scout effect goes off, forcing him to discard his Necro Valley. Hero Shadow Scout's effect forces you to draw cards, but any spell cards picked up must be discarded. He summons another monster. We go for another floodgate, not playing with him. Karibo with Gravity Axe equals a permanent monster in defense position. Absolutely amazing. Then we summon the Valkyrie and mill his deck for two cards. And uh, we continue to mill, set the uh, Kanadia if he gets another monster. And he's not gonna survive because he's gonna get milled out. So this is the power of Kaiba in disguise, my boy. This is the power of the Casey Cup strategy, my boy. Become an agent of chaos today and clap some anime cheeks. Tell me, cause I'm looking out for you. This kid.